Yo, what's good guys? So, today I'm talking about something that's kind of funny, because I usually say this in videos. When I talk about stories that involve, like, security guards and shit, I call them Paul Blart, and for some reason people just seem to find that fucking hilarious. This dude in this story I'm about to tell, literally, I think it was Paul Blart. Like, he looked just like him. But I'm going to talk about one of the funniest experiences I've ever had with a security guard in my life. And this dude, he was a fucking savage, okay? I'm just going to say it, like... He took his job serious as fuck, because he did something that no other security guard would do. Honestly, I think he should be moved into the military, because this dude's fucking ridiculous. So, a little over a year ago, I'm hanging out with some friends of mine, and this group of friends that I had were all into tagging and stuff like that, like spray painting, graffiti, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I've talked about them before. A lot of things have happened with them. But I was hanging out with them, and we were hanging out at a park by my house, and in this park, you could go into the woods, and there was this one area where there was, like, pretty much a broken down house, like, the structure of a broken down house. So there was, like, a wall right next to a creek, and you could just pretty much spray paint on this big-ass wall that used to be a part of a house, and right behind you, while you're spray painting, is just a big-ass creek, and to get to this wall, you have to jump over it. And it's not that scary, like, it's not, like, a big-ass wide creek, like, it's not hard to jump over, but if you fuck up and you fall in the creek, I've done it before... It's deep. It's a fucking deep ass like little thing of water and you can let me just tell you you'll freeze your fucking dick off. Like it's not good at all if you fall into it. But yeah, you're pretty much surrounded by this creek and these woods and it's a really nice area to go and do like graffiti shit and that's what they would do. And we had been doing this for weeks and the security there they never gave a fuck. I didn't think it was a big deal, neither did my friends. And plus we were in the woods at like a completely abandoned just fucked up like wall thing. So it's not anyone's property, it's just kind of fucked up, and has spray paint all over it to begin with, so we didn't think it'd be a big deal to be there, but we're there, and my friends are doing their fucking graffiti shit, they're making beautiful, beautiful art, I'm sitting there just looking at it, thinking, damn, I'm a complete piece of shit that has no art talent whatsoever, like, I'm fucking terrible at this stuff, and I tried, I'm not gonna lie, guys, I tried to add to their stuff, but <laughs> I couldn't even do a stick figure. Anyway, we were just chilling there, they were doing their graffiti, and about, like, 30 minutes into their little session... A security guard from across the creek came over and he like stopped at the creek because to get over you have to jump or you have to walk around which is going to take forever because you have to go all the way down and around the whole fucking thing. So he stops at the creek, doesn't jump over it because he's scared and he screams. He's like, hey, and we turn around and we're like, oh, fuck, dude, security. And like I said, we never had a problem before this. We never thought it would be a problem. But when we see this dude looking all pissed off across the creek staring at us. And let me tell you, he looked just fucking like Paul Blart without the segue. We're just like, oh shit. And my friends were 18, so they're scared of like getting arrested and shit like that. So they're like, alright, let's make a run for it. I was like, bro, we don't even have to run. We could just literally walk up to the street and leave. Like, he's not going to jump the creek, and to get around it takes way longer. So we could just walk. And my friend's like, alright, let's do it. So I start helping my friends pack up their stuff, and this guy yells across the creek. He's like, hey, don't move. I'm coming over there. We're going to the office. There's no fucking way you guys are getting away with this shit. And I was like, okay. Maybe, maybe he is not as nice as I thought he was. So I kind of start like, you know, hurrying up and throwing my friend's stuff in the bag and I zip it up and all of a sudden I look up and he's like backing up. Like he's getting ready to start running to jump the Creek to get over to us. And I was like, Oh fuck. He's actually about to do this. So I throw my friend his backpack. I was like, all right, we got to run. And my friend starts running and I start kind of speed walking backwards. And I'm just looking at the security guard and he starts running and he fucking goes for it, dude. The security guard literally tried to jump this Creek. He jumped up. And it was like sort of a fucking action movie scene. Like he was slowly just like getting up in the air. And I was like, oh no, dude, he's going to make it. And about halfway through the jump, he just started falling down. And <laughs> he fell. Paul Blart fell into the creek. He didn't make it. And all I see in here is just splash. And I see the water. And I'm like, oh my fucking God. Did he just fall into the creek? And he quickly like starts getting out towards our side. And he was on our side now. So I was like, oh fuck, I have to run. So I start running. And he didn't even give up at that point. He literally kept trying to chase us. Even though it was freezing cold, he fell into water. So he was probably twice as cold as we were. But very quickly, he did realize how fucking cold it was. And he turned around and went back. I think he chased us for like 10 seconds before realizing how freezing it was. And just how fucking pointless it was. And he turned around. And I realized that he turned around and started walking back and gave up on chasing us. And I quickly realized, like, dude, he has to go back to the other side. So I don't know if he walked all the way around to get back to the other side, or he tried to jump the creek again, but he might have fucking fallen in twice, who knows? I still don't know to this day, but if he tried to jump the creek again, and he fell in a second time, I'd feel fucking terrible. I already feel bad about the first time, I didn't want him to get fucking soaking wet, but if it helps, I mean, he was a good swimmer. Alright, that was kind of fucked up. But it's even harder to jump back the second time. Like, when we would jump over, it was no problem getting to it. But from the wall to the other side back, it was kind of harder. 
So if he tried to jump it again and he fucked up twice, I, I actually do feel bad. I hope he made it, dude. If you're watching this, I hope you flew right over that shit, made it, 11 out of 10 landing. But yeah, that was like the ending. We made it back to my friend's house and it was kind of fucking creepy because we were scared and we thought people were out for us, but no one was. I, st I felt kind of bad. Like that whole day, I was like, dude, I actually feel terrible. That dude got all wet. Oh, ew. That dude, <laughs> that dude fell in the creek. And he was all cold. I feel bad. But yeah, that was pretty much it. It was just kind of a funny, like, I guess, running from security story, and he f he fell in a fucking creek. And only reason I laugh about it is because I've done the same exact thing. I've fallen into that creek, and I've fallen into three other ones because I fucking suck at jumping. There's literally one right by my house that had a bridge to go over it, and I tried to jump it just to look cool, and I fucking fell in and made a complete dickhead of myself in front of three people. So I guess karma's a bitch. I, I, I got what I had coming to me. But that was pretty much the end, and I thought it was a funny little story, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. Please leave a like if you did, sub if you're new, leave your stories in the comments down below if you ever had to deal with Paul Blarts before, and yeah, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace. Hoochie.